So I've got three clear ingredients. I'm going to add to the Hi, I'm here to demonstrate how to check pH and viscosity in our water-based flexographic game. First thing I do is after opening the lid, I like to use my stir stick and I'll stir the ink in an upward and downward motion, figure eight. Make sure my ink is, thick, is mixed well thoroughly. I check to make sure also that my stick isn't standing straight up and that when I pull the ink out, I can see that it's flowing nicely off of there. So this ink visually looks good. Now, first thing I always check is pH. What I'll do is I use my pH meter. Now, of course, this has been calibrated. And I'll insert this into the ink, swirl it around a few times. After swirling it, I'll look at my number till it comes steady. And I'll take a reading. You're noticing it's pretty high because we shipped it out pretty high. It's at 9.8. I'll record that data. Now this is before I put it on press. I'll clean the tip, rinsing it in water or in a mild solution. Try not to use a hose. The hose will tend to blow out your tip and damage your probe. After recording the pH, now I'm ready to check my viscosity. What I'm using is an easy Zon number two and a simple stopwatch. What we do is we insert the cup at an angle so that the ink doesn't shoot back into us. I'll swirl it around a little bit, and then as soon as the cup, top of the cup breaks the surface, I'll start my watch. Not out here, not there, right when it breaks the surface. So here we go. I insert it down, make sure my cup is full. I'll start my watch, and I let it just dangle from my finger. And I watch for this flow, for the stream. And I watch that stream from about an inch and a half to two inches from the bottom is when I'll stop my watch. You start to see the break in the stream as it comes up right there. This is reading approximately 27.8 seconds. 